When the Nazis invaded her adopted homeland, Mona Parsons risked everything to help save those in need. It was a decision that nearly cost her life. Born in Middleton, Nova Scotia, Parsons had been enjoying a life of travel, entertainment and luxury with her Dutch husband before the war. But everything changed in May 1940, when the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands began. She and her husband chose to fight back by joining the Dutch Resistance Network. The couple helped Allied airmen who had been shot down over the Netherlands. They hid them in their home as part of the effort to smuggle the soldiers back to England. It was dangerous work. And in September 1941, they were caught. An informer had betrayed them to the Nazis. Parsons was put on trial at the Carlton Hotel in Amsterdam and sentenced to death by firing squad. But in a show of tremendous courage, she made an appeal before her captors and her sentence was commuted to life with hard labor. In January 1942, she was transported to a prison in Germany. Parsons would be the only female Canadian civilian to be imprisoned by the Nazis during the war. But before long, her story took another turn. In 1945, during the chaos of an Allied bombardment, she escaped. Careful to disguise her Canadian accent, Parsons embarked on a dangerous journey out of Germany. She walked for three weeks to get to the Dutch border. When she arrived, her feet were badly infected and she was emaciated, weighing just 87 pounds. Mona sought help from an Allied soldier and was shocked to discover that he too was from Nova Scotia. She had reached the North Nova Scotia Highlanders. Eventually, Parsons reunited with her husband. After he passed away in 1956, she moved back to Nova Scotia, where she remarried and lived until her death in 1976. Canada Post is proud to honor Second World War hero Mona Parsons and to pay tribute to her incredible story of resistance, perseverance, and courage.